On Saturday, the 11th of March, 2023, Edo people have a date with destiny. The truth is that uh, this history-making poll will either move Edo forward or backwards. A mistake in our choice of candidate will be too costly and deadly. Posterity will not smile on us if we fail to embrace the light, freedom, harmony and growth that PDP control House of Assembly represent. Edo State has come too far in terms of development to suddenly become stagnated. The state is blessed with a visionary leader who has refused to be deterred by dwindling resources from the Federation account. The state has witnessed prudent management of resources and the outcome are visible to all. Governor Obaseki has continued to spread projects of global standards across the state. Before the administration of Governor Godwin Obaseki, Edo State's inception had only 20,000 signed Certificate of Occupancy CFO. In six years, Governor Obaseki has signed 20,000 more. That means 20,000 more Edo people can have access to facilities to ensure and enhance business, trade and commerce and that is progress. Edo Health Insurance Scheme, Edo HIS, which enable a minimal payment for healthcare, is a feat that has made healthcare accessible and affordable to a high number of citizens. The Osiomo Electricity is almost entering the next phase of connection to homes and houses, while the modular refinery is to come on stream very soon with the potential of creating over a thousand direct jobs and many more thousands of indirect jobs. At the State Secretariat at Sapele Road, a two state government has done its best to ensure a conducive atmosphere that will guarantee the efficiency and productivity of civil servants in their workplace. Prompt and regular promotion in the civil service was once stagnated for six years because a certain governor did not approve promotions. Increased salaries paid before the end of every month is a pointer that civil servants are appreciated. Enlisting of Edo workers in the CPAs has addressed the perennial problem with pension payments by subsequent governments. The noiseless rehabilitation and construction of roads are constantly ongoing. The construction of a brand new Ministry of Agriculture and Food Security at ADP Airport Road, as well as a Do State Agricultural Hub for Agricultural Workers at Oku Ogba Road, are yielding positive results. Also, the opening of the airspace with more air landing and taking off, increased investments, and so on, will further take the state to higher heights. Today, a Do State operates a healthy tax system no double taxation. Improved security in the state through a dual state joint security network is second to none. Police stations destroyed in NSAS riot have been rebuilt. Governor Godwin Obaseki's priority for quality education is non-negotiable. Facilities at Yaru will house everything education. The College of Education Igoriaki, the Edo College of Nursing are completed to world-class standards. Edo jobs have created well over 200,000 direct and indirect jobs. The payment of 502 Ambrose Ali University staff are up to date and verifiable. In the area of sport, the governor has demonstrated his full commitment to sport development in the state. Bendel Insurance Football Club is now topping the table in the first half of the Nigerian Professional League with a record of not losing a single game. If we are determined to get it right on Saturday, we must ask ourselves some pertinent questions. What kind of Edo do we hope for after 11th of March? Can there be meaningful progress in an atmosphere of rancor and acrimony? Can Edo people survive another era of godfatherism and dictatorship? Can we accommodate the return of the vicious CDAs and admirals? Our peaceful state is already set on the right path of greatness. Hence, we must not accommodate those who are inimical to development. Governor Godwin Noregase Obaseki is a technocrat with zero tolerance for mediocrity, a noiseless achiever. Edo people are quite confident that the emergence of PDP candidates as legislators will bring about a robust and effective legis legislation. Little wonder the People's Democratic Party has put together a crop of dynamic 
pragmatic, experienced men and women of proven character that will interface with the executive for our seamless legislation for the benefit of every constituency they represent. These 24 candidates are not intended rubber stamp, neither are they yes men. They are men and women known in their communities and accepted by their people. Our wake and see governor is working assiduously for the rapid advancement of a do state. Therefore, these efficient PDP legislators, when voted into office, cannot reduce the tempo of development. If our desire to make Edo great again must become a reality, we have to play our role by coming out to vote en masse for PDP candidates in the forthcoming House of Assembly election. With PDP candidates, our future as a people is assured and a do of our dream will come to pass. Stand with Governor Godwin Noregase Obaseki. Let the Edo voices be heard from the plains of the Beniz and Isha to the hills of Afemai, Onwa, and Akokwedo. We did it before. Together, let's do it again. Vote PDP to make Edo great again. <laughs>